<laughs> oh, I have no idea what I've been through. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. Hey, everybody. Sorry for the light right there. Hey, everybody. Kevin e here for you for another anime moment that hit. This is going to be number... Um, this is going to be number... 17. Okay, I just had to make sure. It's so many. They're going to be number 17. This is going to be Great Pretender. Just like I said in the other Great Pretender videos I did, I found this anime just early in the morning. I was just going through what's going to be new, like coming up next week on Netflix. I look at the little trailer. It was pretty interesting. I liked it. And I watched it. I remember, I almost didn't watch it because, you know, I watched English dub. I only watched dub. So I went to English dub. And I played an episode, and for like the first 10, somewhat 12 minutes, it's just subtitles. It was a bit of English word, but just subtitles. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I could have sworn. Like, I kept checking the settings over and over. I was like, I could have sworn I put it on English. And I did. I'm like, what, what, what is going on? <laughs> and uh, no, yeah, it, it goes back to English because, like, it, it makes sense because, you know, Monomer, he's in Japan. And he goes to, like, California with Laurent. Not California. He goes somewhere with Laurent. Well, you gotta speak English while they were in the car. Um, like, legit, a whole like screen popped up. It was like, it's gonna be English from here on out. It's okay, like, you know, it made sense that he's Japan. They started trying out English because they're in an English state or country, you know. So, okay, that made sense anyway. This is gonna be from season two, and this is the episode where Laurent, not Laurent, where Monomura's dad set him up, and they got captured by the human trafficking people, Monomura, Abby, and Bro, I had her name in my head, like, before it had this, um, Charlotte, or, Charlotte Calarina, you know, no, the, the girl with the red hair, I forgot her name, she loves money, what was her name again, yo, I, I had, an, this on my phone, like, 10th time recording, I had her name, Cecilia, 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 they get captured, and they're on the boat in the middle of the ocean, and Monomer's dad, put in a good word for Monomer, saying he could get around if he just, you know, Bucks up a bit because you know he's kind of soft right now. So they tell him to kill Abby and Cecilia. Obviously, Mon Murray does not want to do that. They're friends with him. And Abby, she starts to act all tough. Still, like, go ahead and do it. If I was here, I would have been put a trigger. And he, Mon Murray's like, you're capping. Like, you know, you're just trying to act tough. I can't hurt you guys. You guys are my friends. And then Cecilia's like, we're not friends. If you screw up, we dump you. And he was like, I'm the one that screwed up the plan. I'm the one that got his cut. And she was like, no. If you were, see what I know, if you're the one breathing in the end, you're the one that didn't screw up. The people that did there are, we're not friends, we're not family, <laughs> we're nobodies. And then I was like, man, what made it hurt more was, she had a straight face on the whole time. See, like, we're not friends and we're not family. This is a business. We don't like each other. We just do this for the money. I was like, and then she, and I'm smiling, but you know, she was just straight face. And one of her face was shocked and he was like, <laughs> I can't hurt you guys. I just can't. And while he's saying that, you hear two gunshots go off. And then Monomer's dad killed them both. And then his face, his, his facial reaction just gets me every time. He is just sook to his core. Sorry, I can't. He is just sook to his core of what he just saw. Am I blocking it enough? I touched the lamp. He is just sook of what he just saw. And he breaks down. And he starts to like wail on his dad. And they hold him back. And then the... The human trafficking lady, the girl, I mean, I forgot her name, but the lady that runs the whole thing, she was like, you're kind of mad at him, aren't you, Mother Murray? And he, he doesn't say anything. She was like, you know what, go ahead, do what you want. And he's like, whoa, hold on, hold on, do you want to start a gang war between us? And she was like, you really think your boss is going to do that for one man? You know him, right? Go ahead, Mother Murray, do what you want. And he picks up the gun, and while he's pleading for his life, talking about he wants to, you know, he's talking about how he always loved Mother Murray, his mom. How they just said that you guys weren't friends. Uh, what's the problem? And then what made it even more sad, right before Monomura pulls the trigger and shoots his dad. Um, there's a little flashback scene where him, him, Monomura and his dad says the exact same thing about how doing the right thing, always getting justice. And I don't have my charger plugged in. I'm so sorry I messed up. Always doing the right thing, getting justice for the criminal. I mean, getting justice for the innocent. And doing, you know, doing, yeah, doing the right thing and getting justice. And then the camera pans out to over the boat, and then you see a gunshot. And then his dad sees the bullet, and he falls over. And then that was it. The next thing we see is Monomura. He he hasn't. Next, okay, well, we we a, a little bit after that, 
Monomer is fully integral to the trafficking. He's like trafficking kids. He's all happy about it. He's like hitting them. He's like that, that that honestly guys, I'm being serious. Like that broke me. Like my eyes started watering up when I saw Abby and Celia die. I mean, yes, yeah, Cecilia <clears throat> and Monomer's dad. And the Monomer dad does come up out of nowhere in the middle of the episode. But then right after that, for two episodes, right after that, it goes into the Dorothy flashback. So we have no idea. Even the episode after the Dorothy flashback is just his dad. We don't see Abby or Cecilia. And I'm like, you know, I'm looking at the episode thing. And I'm like, yo, there's only like two, maybe three episodes left in this thing. Are they, there's no way they really did. Because I kept thinking like, okay, maybe they faked getting shot. And they're like under the water, like scuba gear or they like have some on. But no, they panned to the water like two or three times. Nothing. And I think, like, yeah, even, like, two dudes walked over and were like, yep, they're good. I was like, yo, there's no way they just killed Abby or Cecilia, bro. That, that really got me. I got, that got my chest, especially, yo, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, I didn't cry. I didn't cry. I, I mean, like, you know, if I, if I cried, I cried, but I didn't cry. But it got me my eyes sort of watering. And I was like, oh, no. God, I was like, there's no way they just killed them, man. Those were, that, that was, like, the group that integral. Then they just died. And then for two episodes of the flashback, then the third episode, it didn't show up. I was like, yo. My, my heart started sinking. Each episode I watched where they don't show up, my heart was like, <laughs> it was just sinking. Like, don't, don't tell me. Don't. <sighs> I just sucked, bro. That sucked. You know, obviously they're not dead. They, they're alive. They were, what made, you know, what made the scene even more terrifying was Monomer didn't know this plan. In his mind, he just literally killed his dad and he just saw two of his best friends died. Because Laurent was talking about it and Abby was like, yeah, he's probably still mad. Even when he finds out about this, he's gonna be even more mad because he don't tell him in, like clue him in to the plans and stuff. So when I when I heard that part, I was like, yo, that means everything that just happened, Monomer thinks that literally, he literally just thought Abby and Cecilia died. And he just thought he killed his dad. Uh, he literally thought like he wasn't in on the plan until his dad showed up. I was like, "Wow, that I'm, that that had a break him. Like that literally broke him. Oh, my goodness, that was sad. That that broke him. Oh man, I broke him. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's that's literally all I have to say about it. I don't have too much else to say. But this is a good show. If you haven't watched Great Pretender, go watch it. It's really good. We got two seasons. It hasn't, it's sort of set up the third season, but it hasn't been confirmed if the third season is in production or if it's got green lit or anything. I'm getting kind of close to the camera. But thank you all for watching. And I hope you all like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. I thank you all out there for being wonderful and beautiful and handsome human beings. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.